Oh, morning world. Wow, yesterday, what a wet day. <laughs> got soaked, absolutely drenched. It just got the day went from worse to worse. So uh, this is day four now. So we stopped at Loch Lomond last night. And uh, so when we got here, seven o'clock last night, absolutely drenched. Everything was soaking. Luckily they opened the laundry for us and we managed to dry the majority of our clothing. It was just a case to get the tents up, get something to eat and get our heads down. So we're up bright and early this morning. As you can see, everybody's packed up, ready to go. And uh, we're heading for the Lake District and to Hereford today is our end point. Shock still feels a little bit soft, but it seems to have stopped weeping since I took the extra weight off the uh, top box, which is on Sidekick's bike now. Well, I've stopped at the services for now. And uh, can't quite hold the pace with the others without uh, putting the bike into a situation where it's just not happy, it's just bouncing all over the place. Hopefully, we catch him up. It's the air and the turtle, you see. The turtles will get there eventually. Yeah, so me and Mrs. Turtle are at his house. We've decided that uh, we will meet them at Hereford. Um, we're going to give the Lake District a miss purely because um, I, could, I don't want to be bouncing around the Lake District um, and getting stuck because my shot goes this far north. So we're going to. Um, we're going to bypass the, the Lake District and then we're going to head for Wales and we're going to have a bimble through Wales um, which means theoretically we should hit the campsite um, probably about the same time as them purely because of the pace that they can go at we've just got a trundle because you start pushing the old big green sexy machine and uh, she don't like it, which is understandable. She's got no, uh, she's got no fluid left in her shot, so there's no preload. Um, cruising in a straight line, yeah, she's, she's not so bad. But um, you, uh, you try and push her into bends and out of bends. Oh, she just wants to uh, become buckaroo. Oh, now we've got the rain, look, oh the rain again, had enough of the rain yesterday. Had enough of the rain yesterday, didn't we kid? So hopefully we get back in front of this. Um, and i got a mate, uh, a good mate, Pan Paul, Mr. Puglio. You can see him in the, uh, the video where we went to Scotland to pick up Big Bertha and uh, he's always been a good mate he's, he's, he rang me this morning and said I'm trying my hardest to get you a shock he says if you get to Hereford I'm going to try and get a shock and I'll come to Hereford and we'll fix it in the field and you will complete this charity ride and I'm like oh you're a good old you're a good old cocky you are so that's if we can get a shock um, if not, and then I'll, I'll see what, what, what it feels like, how it's riding, when we get to Hereford. Um, and we can take it from there, then, and make the decision, are we going to complete this? I really want to complete this, because that's what you good people have been donating, is the fact that... Um, that we would complete this challenge. Uh, I mean, in hindsight, I really wish I'd changed this shock out, you know, months ago. Um, and I should have thought about it more and gone, yeah, do you know what? It's 21 years old, we're going three up, and we're gonna have some weight on it with luggage. Um, a new shock would have been a good call. But, you know, hindsight is an amazing thing, isn't it? But for now, we've just gotta deal with the situation that we've got. And for me, I just want to get us as far as I can safely, but carry on. The amount of moments we had yesterday on the west coast was, 
wow, it was just, it was quite hilarious in places, you know. Um, amazing roads. All I kept thinking was, oh, I wish I was on my 800 Tiger. This would be amazing. Um, it was hard work. Uh, two up on, on, on Big Bertha with a uh, shock with no preload in it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to carry on and uh, we're just going to trundle down the motorway. 60, 65. It's a bit like the old turtle in the air, isn't it? You know, the airs have gone for a race around the lakes and uh, the old turtles will get there eventually. Well, we're still going and the road works at the minute, but look, but he's chilling, bless him. He's uh, just popped his head out, so you'll have a bit of fresh air while you slow down, love. Warrington now, so we're going to uh, head into Wales soon. It's been a bit of a slog down the way away at 60-65. Better be safe than sorry. That's for sure. Get him chilling up, bless him, bless him. Come on, a bit more enthusiasm. Are you ready? Cowabunga! <laughs> Cowabunga motherfucker, come on. Up you go, love. There you go, Mrs. Turtle. You on Mrs. Turtle? Okay, Mrs. Turtle. You ready, bud? Put your goggles on, love. All good? Yeah? Okay. Oh. The roads are dry, but the skies are grey. We've not done too bad with the weather today, to be fair. And we're, what, 50 miles away now from said campsite. We're four days in now, and got to say myself and my wife are both feeling it. We're old you see, old age ninja turtles. So the wife's knees are shot, they're killing her. Absolutely raping her. And uh, just stopped, got her a coffee, bought some more painkillers. Did give her the option. I says, uh, you know, we're at a point now where I can take you home. If you want to quit and give in, and she just glared at me and went, don't be stupid. I'm going to see this through to the end. That's why people are donating their money. It's no good me quitting now, bless her. So she is in a lot of pain, that's for sure. And old Bud's here, bless him. He's been good as gold. Hey, Bud. He's been good as gold, kid. He does like this bag because when the weather's bad, he can just snuggle down in it. I shut his little porthole and he's happy as Larry. And then, as uh, soon as the weather's amicable for him, out he pops. Yeah, again, thank you to all my subscribers for your support. Anybody new to the channel, you're most welcome. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell, and show us some love. thing that uh, I've realised is we need a bigger tent. I really need one I can stand up in. I'm an old turtle now. And, uh, it's been hard work getting in and out of this tent. I mean it's idiot proof to set up, that's why I bought it in the first place. But I definitely need one I can stand up in. With all the injuries and new body parts and bits I've got missing, well 
starting to uh, take its toll. I think this tent's alright for maybe a night, a couple of nights, but yeah, right, this morning, oh, I was a right grumpy bugger. An old ratty as hell, she was the same because she had a crap night's sleep. And she was proper ratty as hell this morning. So I think I'm going to. Uh, we're going to do the three nights in a tent and then we were heading back home but uh, I'm going to book an hotel and have an extra night I think and just have a night of luxury have a nice bath and a bit of a pamper and a nice meal as long as I can find one that's dog friendly it's amazing how many places aren't which is just rude do they not realise he's cleaner than most of their customers? how rude! <laughs> Piece. How's your turtle tastic. <laughs> That's how it is. Feels like turtle leather. Ladies and gentlemen, Biker Buddy has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You okay? oh, she is. Hello, Bless man. her. Ratty as hell. She's um, ratty as hell. <laughs> I've dosed her up with uh, Neurofed, Panadol. It's still not working. I might have to get the Tramadol out and just, you know. Go the full hog. <laughs>